Member Stephen, the member from Mississauga East, Cooksville. Thank you, Speaker. I want to inform the House about an important event that took place just down the hall from this chamber. This afternoon, Speaker, members of the Canadian Diabetes Association attended Queen's Park for the unveiling of their Diabetes Charter for Canada. This charter gives a strong voice to the 9 million Canadians living with diabetes or pre-diabetes. In our own province, nearly 1 in 10 individuals lives with this disease. A further 1 in 5 has pre-diabetes. The numbers are growing rapidly, and a disproportionate number of them come from certain communities, like that of the South Asian community or the Native Canadian community. The Diabetes Charter for Canada outlines a set of rights held by all those who suffer diabetes, and it calls for timely diagnosis followed by education and patient-centered care. This aligns with our government's transformation of health care, with our Ontario diabetes strategy, and initiatives like Health Links, we're driving change that will wrap interdisciplinary care around patients and further empower diabetic Ontarians. I want to congratulate the Canadian Diabetes Association on their achievement and thank them for the work they do every day. Their work touches every single one of us. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.